Hey percussion friends, my name's Nathan. I'm Wes. And I'm Cindy. In this video today, we're going to be talking all things multi-percussion, whether it's setup, technique, or tips and tricks to get your instruments to stay in place. If you're new to the world of multi-percussion, things can feel a tiny bit overwhelming at first, so we want to help ease that tension and get you learning the music as fast as possible. When considering your multi-percussion setup, whether it's with drums, metals, woods, or keyboards, two main guiding principles will streamline your process and greatly aid your playing. The first principle is to try and have everything you hit at the same height, flat to your sticks. By having everything at a comfortable height and level, all of your fundamentals in your snare drum and keyboard playing will directly correlate with your playing on a multi percussion setup. This will make large setups much less intimidating. The second principle is to try and minimize the distance between your objects. This is how my setup of Michael Gordon's percussion solo XY for five drums is organized. By limiting air time, you have more control over the initiation and completion of each stroke. There are a variety of different ways you can organize your setup. In general, organizing your setup with two rows of instruments with the lowest pitch on the left and the highest pitch on the right, just like any other keyboard, is a great place to start. Once you've figured out the technique necessary to get between all the drums, as Wesley mentioned, the next thing to do is figure out how you want to have your drums set up for the whole piece. This is important because some pieces have the diagram in the forward for you, but others, like any of Xenakis' works, such as Raybon's A or Raybon's B, or Safa, leave the setup absolutely to the player. Because of this, you want to start looking through the whole piece before you set up your instruments. In the beginning of Safa, the player only has to deal with a few instruments at a time, but by later in the piece, they are dealing with almost 13 at once. Because of this, you need to strategically lay out your setup to be able to deal with the most dense sections. It can make your playing go from looking like this to something like this. Now that you have an idea of how to manage setups in a general way, there are specific instruments that might be more challenging to set up. Here are some tips and tricks on how to mount found or small percussion instruments. For example, in Third Construction by John Cage, you have to set up five tin cans, a clave, and a cowbell. Here are some do's and don'ts for setting up these instruments so that they resonate and don't fall off your setup. Playing on a cowbell on a table like this doesn't allow for it to resonate very well. If you put it on some phone though, playing tin cans on a flat table like this causes some rattling. If you place them on a carpeted table instead and put some tape at the base to secure it, to lessen the risk of the clave falling off, it might be a good idea to put some egg foam under it. This holds it in place and keeps the clave resonant. Another common found instrument that you will find yourself playing are wood slats. Wood slats are the most resonant when they have some space underneath them. As you can hear, wood slats just placed on a flat table like this doesn't sound the best. If you put some foam under it though, the key here is tape and foam. They are essential tools in helping you in your setup. Keep these concepts in mind and you're off to a great start. 